Dinner and drinks aren't the only thing that Kitty Hoynes has to offer. News Channel 9's Kendra Brodus has more on why for 20 years, hundreds of people gather at the pub to shave their heads. Buzz cuts to beat cancer. Everybody thinks the uh, stigma of just getting hit, it's, that's nothing, you know, compared to what these kids go through. From long hair to green hair, more than 100 people shaved it all off as a fundraiser to battle pediatric cancer. It's, you know, it's just an incredible feeling to watch everybody being so generous with their, their money and their time and their, and their looks, really, right? I mean, and we say it's not about what's up here, it's about what's in here, right? So it's all about what's in your heart and, and that's what everybody's showing today is what a great heart Syracuse has. It's Syracuse's generous heart that has helped raise millions in donations to St. Baldrick's. Sue Klein has raised around $15,000 in the 19 years that she shaved her hair in a chair at the pub, all in honor of her granddaughter, who is a cancer survivor. I think the community all comes together for the kids. I mean, they know that, yeah, and especially when you see pictures of the angels and, and you hear the stories of what they went through and what their parents went through. I think it's something everybody feels they can do a little something to help out. And what else does the event bring? I hope people realize there's hope. And if they keep eventually, we're going to find something, you know. I mean, look, we had a vaccine for COVID. There's got to be something for childhood cancer. Funding research for a cure, one shaved head at a time. In Syracuse, Kendra Brodus, News Channel 9.